Hello everyone and welcome to I Know You Know, your one-stop knowledge sharing platform for all things careers, life after high school, as well as opportunities that are available to you. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And if you feel like anyone else can benefit from this information, please share this video with them and let them subscribe as well. Happy, happy, happy new year to all of you. I am happy to be back <laughs> in front of the camera and I'm looking forward to really making this a successful year of sharing a whole lot of resources and ensuring that access is democratized as much as possible. And speaking of access, our very first video for the year is about NSFAS, the National Student Financial Aid Scheme. So maybe some of you don't know what NSFAS is, but basically NSFAS is a financial aid scheme by the South African government that is set up to help uh, students from poor and working class families with their studies. Their studies should be at one of the public universities or TVET colleges. So it's one of the 50 TVET colleges or the 26 public universities in South Africa. So NSFAS covers the full cost of your study. This includes registration, tuition, meal allowance, accommodation, travel allowance, learning material allowance, as well as your personal care allowance. So this is quite a great initiative by the government and I hope that everyone that needs it is able to leverage from it. So the great news is that NSFAS have extended their date, their closing date, as you saw by the title. Their closing date is now the 21st of January 2022. So this gives everyone an opportunity to apply if you hadn't already or those that were struggling because their platform was quite um, overwhelmed towards the last days as the first cutoff date was the 7th of January, which is today. So if you haven't already, please do start applying and I'll get into how you do that later on in the video. So what is the criteria for you to qualify for NSFAS? So the first criteria is that you must be a South African citizen or be a permanent resident with the right documents, meaning a per you must have a permanent residency permit from the Department of Home Affairs in South Africa. The second criteria is that you must either be a SASA grant um, recipient or you must be from a home that has a combined household income that is not more than 350,000 rands a year. And if you're living with disabilities or are differently abled, you must be from a family that does not get a combined household income of more than 600,000 rands a year. So what are the required documents when you apply? So firstly, you need to give a copy of your ID. This can be a smart card or green book ID. Um, alternatively, if you have a temporary ID as well that is allowed, you can submit that as well. And just to be safe, please do certify this as you know, it gives validity to the copy that you have made. If you're a non-SASA grant recipient, you will also need to submit a copy of your parents' ID documents as well. Um, this includes your parents or your legal guardian or your spouse, depending, I suppose, on who you are dependent on. You also need to provide proof of income, and this can be in the form of either yours or your parent, legal guardian or spouse, depending on who you are dependent on once again. Um, it can either be a proof of payslip that is within the last three months. Usually the latest is advised. However, it should not be older than three months. Or you can have a UIF letter, a retrenchment letter or an appointment letter. If any of those are able to prove how much income um, the person you're dependent on gets a year, then that is um, valid as proof of income. As you will remember, one of the criteria had to do with how much income um, is being received in the household. And so it is important to submit this as it will determine whether or not you qualify. How can you apply? So you can apply using one of two methods. The first one would be on the My NSFAS portal. And this you can find on www.mynsfas.org.za. You can access this using either a smartphone or a computer. And on the, on the portal, you would have to create a profile and they call this uh, my NSFAS account on the portal. And this will enable you to sub, 
submit the documents that are required and therefore there's no need for you to post anything you are able to submit all the documents on the platform itself please make sure that when you do apply you do receive a reference number as this reference reference number is proof that your application was submitted successfully and it will also help you track your results um, the results of your application or the status of your application as time goes so ensure by all means that before the 21st of january 2022 you do receive your reference number upon submission of your application the second way that you can apply for this is mainly targeted at people who do not have access to devices digital devices or um, the internet and once again this is quite good as it makes sure that this is accessible to a whole lot of people and so if you do not have access to these two you are welcome to go to any of the nyda offices nationwide or a tusong center um, for you to be able to apply they will be providing you with the resources to apply for in this in a similar way that you would have from home so once again this is quite a great opportunity if you don't know where these are situated where you're from please leave a comment in the comment section below and i will try to find out for you because i have been seeing quite a lot of information about where you can apply if you're in a specific province or if you're in a specific town so just leave a question on that and then i will just make sure that i get the information however Alternatively, I will also be sharing the details to NSFAS for you to be able to do in any inquiries or make any inquiries um, directly to them as obviously they will be able to help you much better than I can. Please note that you applying for NSFAS is not an application for your studies. This means that you must apply as well to your university or college of choice. Remember, it has to be one of the 50 TBID colleges or one of the 26 public universities and those are the only ones that NSFAS will cover your studies um, for. So please do apply if you haven't already to an institution while you're also applying to NSFAS. And then last but not least, um, if you have any queries, feel free to drop them in the comment section. I will respond to them as soon as I can. However, it will be best if you inquire directly from NSFAS and you can do this through their email address which is info at nsfas.org.za you can also do this on social media facebook twitter and instagram on facebook the account is national student financial aid scheme on twitter and instagram it's at my nsfas alternatively you can also call them on 080 067 7327 and their working hours for their line is Monday to Friday from half past 8 until 5 p.m. I hope that this video was helpful in giving you a download of what NSFAS is for those that didn't know. And I hope that if you do qualify, you will apply for this as this will enable you to be able to get your studies funded. I wish all the best to all the people who will be applying. Please let me know in the comment section below if you already submitted your application or if you're having any trouble as well. Let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to find out more information for you. But alternatively, once again, please also contact NSFAS directly. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. Please share this video with people you think will benefit from this and see you in the next video. Bye.